Hi, I'm Daniel with First Tech Challenge Team 9779 The Pieders, and today we have a video on simple drivetrains. If you've seen the PushBot, you've seen something like this. It's a gear drive where the motor is connected to a gear which is connected to a gear which drives the wheel. The main advantage of this is that the motor is not holding the weight of the robot. This axle which is connected to the wheel is holding all of the weight of the robot, which means all the motor has to do is drive the wheel. One thing you need to be careful about is if the wheel or motor are loose or can wobble, then the gears might disconnect. Also, if the motor spins in the motor mount, then the gears can become disconnected as well. And this is a direct drive where the motor directly drives the wheel. It's very simple, but one of the main disadvantages is that the entire weight of the robot is resting on the motor's axle. We used this mounting system in our first year, which was the rescue season. One of the main problems we had was that the motor could rotate inside the motor mount. We found this mount on Servo City, which clamps down tight enough to make the motors not spin. The whole pattern might not line up with your building system, so you may need to drill holes in either your motor mount or the C-channel. This isn't a drivetrain, but here you can see we use two of the Servo City motor mounts. We put one on the front and one on the back. This definitely holds the motor in place. And you can see these gears fit together quite snugly. One of the other problems we encountered was with the motor hub that attaches the wheel to the motor shaft. The hub can spin freely on the motor shaft, and the only thing transmitting the torque is the set screw. If your set screw loosens up, then you'll lose all of your torque. The set screws can also chew up the motor shaft. To solve this problem, AndyMark makes a deprofile motor hub called the nub hub. The beauty of this is that the D-shaped bore of the nub hub can transmit all the torque, even if the set screw isn't in place. In this case, the set screw is only there to keep it from moving along the motor shaft. I'm pretty sure Reverbotics also makes a version of this. And in second season, which is Velocity Vortex, we decided to face mount our motors, which is placing screws through something directly onto the mounting holes of your motor. So here's a drive motor. You can see we used a nub hub. You can see we have two screws going through the extruded aluminum into the face of our motor. We also add a piece of angled aluminum just below it to add two more screws into the face of the motor. For another example of face mounting, you can go see a rescue in our video, where we built a six-wheel drop center drive chain. If you're looking for more advanced drivetrains, then you can look up Holonomic, Mechanum, and Swerve drivetrains. So that's our video on simple drivetrains. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Good luck this season.